Mr. Comfort Plus. Oh, we're uh, having some fun already. We're just waiting at the, the hurt. And boy, does it hurt. It's 11. And we're going to be waiting until about 4 for our rental. So we got five hours and then we'll be on the road. So here's how it happened. You know, we're waiting about five and a half hours planned. And then the guy is kind of like joking around about us waiting that long, but we're just sitting there. So now we've been sitting there for like 35, 40 minutes. And he goes, oh, why don't you guys go, like, go wait in the airport? And we're like, oh, well, we don't have anywhere to go. So we were just planning on waiting here. And he didn't like that answer. So he like aggressively rushed us into a rental car and made us leave like really quick because he was sick of us waiting around. Squeaky wheels. We got the grease. <laughs> Drop it all. Creek, wet boot creek, Rooster Rock State Park right there, baby. It's right next to. It's like, it's so big it almost doesn't look that big. You see this right here? This is what we do our business in. Are you open for business? I'm hoping I'll be closed for business for a couple <laughs> days. You can use my business bags. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going on the puppiest road ever here. Oh, like no. Weston said, it's a good uh, good test to see how much body fat percentage you have. <laughs> body fat percentage. Hi. It's going up a steep road, and I'll pan right. Yeah. That's pretty steep. Ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't, Drew, I don't think that was it. Bro, we're slipping. Remember there was those... Who's <laughs> this, buddy? <laughs> we're at the Cold Springs campground, just kind of parking the car. Yeah, we're just kind of getting set up for camp, just set up the tents, blowing up some pads, going up on five o'clock. So I think actually this is like perfect timing because by the time we do dinner and do like a probably an early bedtime, I think it'll work out pretty well. So, what you boys eating? Chicken Alfredo? Oh, my hair, bro. <laughs> what you eating, man? My hairline, bro. Don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating uh hymns. <laughs> Couscous. What's going through your mind, your head, your gourd? Mountain big, me small, hard walk up mountain. <laughs> Aside from advertising for him, what are your thoughts about this uh, little summit attempt tomorrow morning? Or I guess halfway up. We're gonna begin our climb tomorrow. I think that um I should tape up my feet, otherwise my feet will probably explode. <laughs> so I probably uh, should do that pretty soon before I forget. Yeah, tomorrow morning, gonna make our way up to lunch counter about halfway. And Friday, go for a summit attempt. Weather's looking good, nice and clear, low winds. Actually getting pretty cold. Sun's providing a lot of warmth, but it's gonna be so cold up there tomorrow. Sitting in the tent listening to a helicopter flyer on the mountain for like 15 minutes by now. And a little bit of an ominous sign, you know, the night before you start up at. Diligently sunscreening here. Don't want to repeat of last year. Just taking off, start of the trailhead here. Getting a late start, eight o'clock. Yeah, it's crazy how much less snow there is. 
little glimpse of Mount St. Helens back there. progress here we are in the orange this purple is like the designated trail this here is actually us getting on a ridge line the ridge line is this so it's telling us to kind of shoot up here up on the ridge line and then ridge line all the way up and that's lunch counter up there it's hard to tell but all these climbs are huge it's hard to get a scale of things on here but a couple folks gaining the ridge line that's where we're gonna be in a bit up the, the ascent onto the ridge here, and there's the boys. Pretty steep here. couple guys coming down who attempted the summit today but they said they were experiencing like 50 mile an hour winds on the top so they turned around. Tomorrow we'll hope for a different story. We might just get blown off the mountain instead of turning around. I'm not trying this three times. We think lunch counter is kind of up there. But man, it's easy to underestimate Mount Adams. This is brutal. You just step up, slip, slip back in the snow. Hopefully not too much longer. I think we're a little over 8,000 feet and we're camping at like 9,500. So maybe it'll take us like an hour, hour and a half. Man, we are gassed. We just kind of take a handful of steps, take a break. Handful of steps, take a break. Here we are sitting on some volcanic rocks. We're gonna muster up it. some more energy. We just ate some more food. I try to do like 500 more feet. And then just find a good spot. Figure it'd be best to get closer for tomorrow morning. Less to hike. Weston's <laughs> favorite pastimes. <laughs> Blowing up a sleeping pad at elevation. Thank God Weston was right and he found a little stream, but he is scooping water with a pot, pouring it into a dirty bottle, filtering the sedimented water through a buff into a different dirty bottle, and then Sawyer squeezing them into our clean bottle. But it's ice cold mountain water. Oh yeah, I do. I do as a kid's in the me. <laughs> Made some dinner. I was between mac and cheese and sweet oh, pork. Man. And the sweet pork had 800 calories. Mac and cheese had 620. So sweet pork it is. It's looking pretty windy tomorrow morning, which is a little nerve wracking. Saying like 20, 25 mile an hour winds. So I was uh, lucky enough to be able to use the the laboratories on uh, Mount Adams here. I prefer the ones at the trailhead, but it'll do. Let's have a nice view though. Less glorious things about mountaineering is the, the rest portions where you just sit there, get pelted in by the sun on rocks. You know, it's kind of boring and it's cold and then it's really hot and it's windy. The volcanic rocks here aren't very comfortable. 6.30, we're just kind of getting stuff set up for tomorrow so we can leave early. Wake up at three and try to be out hiking before four. This here is a 2,400 foot climb. Um, so it doesn't look that big, but it's pretty huge. And so I think this is gonna take most of our day. But once you get to the top, that's Piker's Peak. It dips down a few, maybe two, 300 feet. Then you climb uh, up to uh, Adams, which I think is, I don't know, Maybe another thousand, give or take. Just uh, waking up about 3 a.m. 
boiling some water, gonna do breakfast in the tent here. My hunch was correct. They didn't wake up. Oh, sleep too good out here. But I actually do see uh, some headlamps going up the mountain right now. Hopefully we'll be moving in just a little bit here. Almost five o'clock. So we're just cramponing up. Throw the backpacks on and then uh, start making our way up. Ready to go, baby. Trying to say I'm king of the world on top of the mountain. Weston's struggling over here. Right now. Weston's struggling over here. Just worried at Weston. Bro, you can't talk. <laughs> Better not to burn ourselves out and not make it than just go slow. I would like to tell you that my legs feel a lot better compared to last night, but that isn't really the truth. So slow, <laughs> slow and steady, I guess. The shadow of Mount Adams with the sun coming up behind us. Pretty cool. Mount Hood over there. St. Helens over there, but mountains in the way. Allegedly, we're about half mile. You know, we're taking good steps. We got a good pace, just kind of grinding slow and steady. But man, it's steep. We just got kind of a steeper part of the slope. It eases up right here and then goes back up to being maybe even sleep steeper. As you can probably hear, it's pretty windy. But yeah, Weston's going on all fours. So we just got to the top of the pitch here. It's a pretty steep one, so we're taking a little break. There's a guy down there. You can kind of see our tents. There are our tents are right here. Yeah, pretty steep pitch. Kind of eases up for a little bit here. And then back up Piker's Peak, which is I think one of the steeper parts of the climb. So, but once we get up Piker's Peak, the it's a little less exposed because right now it's just the entire slope. But once you get up Piker's Peak, going up to Adams, you would just fall back into Piker's Peak. So. Oh, we just made it up Piker's Peak. And once we got up Piker's Peak, the wind up here is probably like 30, 40 miles an hour. But we're gonna keep going. The wind is coming from the northwest, so I'm hopeful that once we get to the slope that is Mount Adams, it'll protect us on the way up, and then just the walk to the summit will be windy. So yeah, just praying that wind calms down because so cold. We just got through the snow field here. It dips way down and and to be honest with you, the wind ease up a lot. I only said some prayers. My hip is kind of killing me. But we have a couple options. We can go up that snow chute there. But it actually looks like people have been taking this dirt and we actually see some switchbacks. So I'm kind of tempted to do something different just because my foot or my hip is killing me on the snow. So what we're currently doing ain't feeling good, so it might be helpful to switch it up. There's a big old crevasse right there. Camera's gonna go jump in it. Save me. He's gonna pull me out with his bear rope. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up opting for the rock route. Um, I'll tell you what, my hip is killing me. <laughs> Luckily it's not very windy right here. Um, we just talked to some people who said, once you get to the top of this, it gets windy again, but as long as it stays like this and we know there's some relief, it'll be all right. Over 12,000 feet. We're kind of making the final push to the summit here. It's slow going now. It hurts. It's just kind of take a handful of steps, stop, take a handful of steps, stop. Oh, it's 8.40. I think there's a chance we'll be up there at nine. So, just gotta do it. Don't worry about the way back. Oh, oh, oh my word. Mount Rainier in the back. Holy cow, it's so windy up here. 
This is probably 40 mile an hour winds. <laughs> I, I don't got that much energy. We did it! We did it! Second time since so far, uh, baby. We did it! <laughs> Crazy. Oh, oh my word. You can see Mount Rainier. You can see Mount Helens, Mount Hood. It's just crazy. It's so windy up here. We were probably having like 40 mile an hour winds up there and it rolled in some whiteout conditions. So we're gonna to try to get out of here as quick as can, as we can, all being safe. But yeah, it gets a little sketchy. particular cloud behind us just makes me a little nervous um, we just got to move fast but safe on the way down we're on our way down it's actually going pretty well the snow softened up quite a bit and it actually feels pretty feels a bit safer we're just getting kind of past a little gnarly portion of snow and then probably gonna go save the rest of the way a lot of people going up right now and the look on their face makes me feel better about how I felt going up my butt is wet. Yeah, there you go. Bye, buddy. <laughs> so we dropped like 1,800 feet. It took us like 15 minutes. Our butts are soaked, but it was so worth it. I'm glad it's over. Yeah. My legs probably couldn't have gone another 20 feet. I'm just glad we did I'm it. Glad it's over. As glad well. we didn't. Uh, have another failed summit attempt. It's always good to be successful. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my whole life. Yeah, I it was agree. difficult, but it's nice to be going down now. My hip was killing me the whole time. I think Cameron had some pretty bad blisters. I was kind of nauseous near the top as well. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us summit the mountain. Help. Did you get that? <laughs> I did. I'm just gonna be start packing up in just a bit here, start heading down. Took us six hours to get up here, so I'm thinking it'll probably take us three hours back, give or take. Well, we're about to leave our little camp area. One last look, we got all the packs put up. Be nice to leave with some success, as opposed to last time, that was pretty demoralizing. But now we're moralized. Trout Lake Campground. We're just staying here tonight. Seems pretty nice. We're we'll getting some trivia.
not sponsored yet. Yet! <laughs> Thank you.